What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, we're going to compare some of the most profitable GPU mining coins in areas such as the total circulating supply, total emissions, and how many years do we have left to mine it. So if that kind of content is why you're here, do me a favor, hit that like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And the reason that I created these visual representations of this information was to really kind of drill down on how this would affect the tokenomics moving forward or the price of the coin in the future. Because if there's you know a lot of emissions left in a very short amount of time, that means there's going to be a lot of dumping on the market. But if there's a really long amount of time left um, and a very high emission rate, then that, that means some really good things to me, in my opinion. So now I may not have chosen all of your favorite coins, but I tried to include as many in this as I could. And we're going to start with Ergo. Let me just break down what we're looking at here. So obviously, this is the percentage of circulating supply or the coins that are in existence and have been mined uh, the total supply here minus the coins in circulation of course is going to represent this pie chart and then we have the total mined coins per day which for ergo is roughly just over forty thousand and then the remaining coins to be mined and as you can see here we're 61% of the way done with Ergo, and emissions per day is currently sitting at about 63, 64,000, and that's roughly about 2 million per month or about 23 million per year, which is nowhere near close to what ETH was, but uh, not too shabby. Let's move on. Let's take a look at Alephium. So there was some discrepancies in the total supply. I noticed on Coin Market Cap that uh, basically there's an extra two zeros compared to this so depending on how you're looking at this this is either 21 percent has been mined or four percent that i haven't really gotten clarification on uh, but as far as how many coins mined per day we're sitting at about 129,000, which is the equivalent of about 35,000 a day or just over a million per month and about 12 and a half million per year next up we got conflux and conflux i believe we are 50 percent of the way done through the circulation and as far as the amount per day almost a hundred thousand just over well almost three million per month and about 35 million per year next up we got caspa which uh i guess shouldn't be a surprise but considering the age of the coin there was a couple of things that impressed me uh, number one was the amount of emissions per day currently sitting at about 355,000. I see that fluctuate sometimes all the way up to 440,000. We're looking at just over 10 million per month and 128 million per year, which is substantial. And we are 61% of the way done as far as emissions are concerned. Uh, but as far as time frames, we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Next up, we have Radiant, and we are 16% of the way through Radiant with a total emission of about 8,000 per day, roughly about 243,000 per month and almost 3 million per year. Next up, we got Nexa, which is producing roughly about 31,000 per day, almost a million per month, and just over 11 million per year and we're only 11 percent of the way through the total supply next up we got dynex and you might find this surprising we are already 41 percent of the way through mining dynex and we're producing roughly about 13 and a half thousand per day almost half a million per month and roughly five million per year and then we've got flux which is up to 67% of its emissions and currently producing about 30,000 a day, 900,000 per month, and almost 11 million per year. So as far as total circulating supply is concerned, here's a representation of 
all of them compared to one another. Forgive the color schemes, I just went with the default here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, as far as total circulating supply, uh, Dynex is really high up there considering the length of time uh, that it's been available to mine. And you'll be surprised at the amount of time that you have left to mine it. So Ergo and Flux are way up there. Caspa also way up there. But look at Nexa and Radiant and Elysium all hanging out down below roughly 25% or so. And then the next chart here represents the total value in USD per day. And we're looking at Caspa just dominating everything else currently at about 350,000 a day, but sometimes over 400,000. And then next up, surprisingly, we see Complux. I guess I shouldn't say surprisingly, uh, but Ergo also surprised me a little bit. And Nexa producing a significant amount higher actually than Flux. And then we've got Dynex followed by Radiant Lithium looking pretty good as well. And the big question is, is how long do you have to mine these? So very interesting to see these compared to one another but as you can see you've got roughly about 140 years left to mine Nexa you've got about 80 years left to mine Alephium you've got uh, roughly 35 to 36 years left to mine or oh excuse me I think it's 38 years I think it's maybe it's 2038 uh, this one may be wrong so don't quote me on this one then Radiant, uh, you've got about 25 years, same as Flux. And Ergo, we've got, I think, eight years from Inception, so maybe about six or seven years left, something like that. But Dynex, look at this. There's only three years left to mine Dynex before it is 100% in circulation, which is very intriguing. And then Conflux. I think we have roughly about four years left. Don't quote me on that one either. This information was a little bit more difficult to extract than I thought it would be. Uh, a lot of the white papers will provide this information, but they don't tell you specifically, you know, you've got 140 years left or the last one will be mined in 2038. Uh, this is just based on the emission schedule and the length of time that it takes between blocks and yeah, some of them are algorithmic, some of them are set in stone, like Flux is, I think, what, every two and a half years or something weird like that. But yeah, I thought this would be interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit the like and hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.